That's just right. Brand new distributor cap, gas filter, brand new alternator, play uh, 343. There's a, a little bit of an exhaust leak where the exhaust pipe meets the donut, has the donut between the exhaust pipe and manifold. But if you're going to head and, and uh, going to uh, uh, put a new exhaust system on the car, then you shouldn't worry about it. I just put a little transmission oil on it. That's why it's running. Right now it's uh, below halfway on the cool thing. I actually drove it about 20 miles and noticed the transmission needed a little fluid. Stopped and it was about a quart low. Okay, your power window does go up and does go down. I know that was a concern. Idles at about 600 RPM, which is a little slow. Okay, shifts in reverse. Take it for a little ride now. I saw the cops out here, so I can't go too crazy on the ride. Oh, let's see. Two more buses with us. Radio yeah. works. All right, stay. Stay. Sixty-one thousand eight hundred twenty-six point three. You can see the three is moving, or two is moving to a three now. Gas gauge works. Got about a quarter of a tank. Does have cruise control way over there. Does have a clock. Couldn't tell you about the functionality of it. This road's a 35 mile an hour road, so I can't go too fast, but 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. We got the Amazon man ahead of me, so got to lay off there. But there's a little place where I can, a uh, little place where I can get it up to uh, 70, 80 miles an hour and cruise with it. Hopefully we can get it in this video for uh, the video is too long to where I can text it to you, Ron. You see the temperature still not going anywhere. The Amazon man likes to pay the speed limits out here. like a sort of a one lane road. Let's see. There's the left turn signal. There's the right turn signal. You buy the Amazon man. Second gear, now it's a third. I was wondering why I wouldn't shift it. Again, the temperature's not going anywhere. It's always a good thing when you're buying a car, make sure. Uh, Temperature uh, stays uh, below uh, halfway, and it's a freaking 95 degree day here in uh, uh, South Texas right now. 55 miles an hour is 2,000. It means a highway gear. Uh, anything below uh, 3,000 RPM at 70 miles an hour is uh, highway gear, which is a bit good on gas mileage. And good on the engine if you're going to be cruising at uh, 70, 75 miles an hour, which is what I typically do on a good road. And you can see that the odometer is working. I'm not sure where 
there was a problem with the odometer, but it's 61,820, turn in nine. Brakes work good. Again, the exhaust leak, you can hear that coming from the donut and the uh, and the, uh, the, there's a donut between the exhaust pipe and the uh, manifold, like a 50 cent piece, but these uh, probably going to have to, when you get the exhaust done, it just about always guarantee you got to cut the nuts off with a uh, cutting torch anytime they ever do an exhaust system from the manifold. So but once you start cruising, you know, you don't hear the exhaust uh, leak. any license plates on this car right now so I gotta kind of be careful where I go because I, there's two cops stopping to chat with each other when I took this for a little drive earlier I don't like long-haired hippies like me Taking this curve at about 65 or 60, 55. We're living. We're just cruising about 70 to the stop sign. Again, you can see with all the acceleration and everything, temperature is still at cool. And I probably put 20 miles on this car so far today, making sure everything's ready to go. I'm going to have my uh, shop assistant uh, wash and wax and detail the inside before, uh, before you get here. And right turn soon is working. Car stopping straight. Get on the road before that truck comes and gets me. I mean, it's not muscle car performance, but you know, we're at 65 miles an hour. Right, we're at 70 miles an hour and only took a second or two to get there.